It's a new year, but it's the same podcast you love. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast. First of 2024, episode 93, round of applause. Please. Happy New Year, everybody. We are back. Oh, wow. What a blessing. It is. We survived another year. We have another year with the You Should Know podcast family. I am so happy. I am so thankful for everybody that is bringing in this new year with the You Should Know podcast. We love you so much. We want to just thank you for a fantastic 2023. It was a great year for the You Should Know podcast in 2023. Let's all have a round of applause for the 2023 of the You Should Know podcast. It was a fantastic year. Fantastic year. But we have so many great things planned for we have so many great things planned for 2024. I want to I want to say this goal out loud. Normally we just have these goals internally as as, as a team, but I want to say this out loud to the You Should Know podcast family because y'all are in sole control of it. We want to hit 1 million subscribers in 2024. Let's do it together. Let's let's all bond together as as a group, as a unit, as a family, the You Should Know family, and get one million subscribers in 2024. And in 2024, we're bringing more shows. We have Tampa, Florida, on February 17th, and I want to let you know it is almost sold out. Insane! Thank you so much. The whole bottom level is sold out. The top level it, it's going to sell out in the next couple of days. So if you are in Florida, if you want to come see the You Should Know podcast live the day after my birthday, I have a big birthday day celebration with the whole team get those tickets the link is in the description right now and then we have austin texas on march 1st those tickets are going to be coming out in the next couple weeks be sure to follow us on instagram at psh8 at cam kennedy 22 and at you should know podcast we love you so much happy new year i want everybody right now in the comment section to get your good karma i want you to put your goals of 2024 and we are such a nice great family that we will all hold each other accountable and we will all uh, motivate each other to accomplish our goals we can do it together we love you so much thank you for coming back in 2024 let's have a great year now on to the rest of the episode the you should know podcast this episode is brought to you by Manscaped. Cheers to the New Year's from our friends at Manscaped because your resolutions shouldn't be the only things that are well kept, and that's a factoid. 2024 is the time for new heights, new opportunities, and a new look for your Times Square balls. Manscaped's Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is every man's cheat code to look good feel good and turn the page on confidence this new year whether you're looking to maintain a trim or go for the clean shaven look this trimmer has you covered trusted by over 10 million men worldwide now is your time to get a grip on your grooming with our exclusive offer go to manscaped.com and use code psh for 20 percent off and free shipping happy new year or happy new balls. Introducing the MVP of 2024, Manscaped's fifth generation lawn mower. Peyton, mm. this bad boy is equipped with two skin safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little off the top, yeah, and a new foil blade to go smooth wherever you want to go. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code PSH at manscaped.com because nothing says happy new year like a deal that leaves your balls and your budget feeling refreshed. That's a fact. Embrace a new you and definitely embrace a new trimmer courtesy of Manscaped. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. Oh, we got co-host Cam back in the studio. Happy 2024, co-host Cam. New Year's same ass. I went for a handshake to start the year out good. You dogged me. I'm not going to lie. You've, you've come into 2024 smelling bad. Right before that button was clicked, you were scratching your inner webbing for 12 seconds. Y'all want to hear it? This is what it, sounds it literally like. sounds like 40 grit sandpaper on a new countertop. Listen to this. Look at that sand. I don't know if that picked up, but why'd you sniff it, bro? See, and I, and I stink. Your, your foot even Dude, fucked. Look how your, your foot literally just farted when you said that. That's not the it only went, thing that farted. Honestly, I've been having bad farts recently. We're not starting no. 2024 off like this. No. Last night at the basketball game when he farted in the car. Dude, <sighs> I it, farted in the car? 
You farted in the car. I thought I was getting hot boxed by beef stew. You farted in the car. It I literally did? smelled like someone made a disgusting boil and then spilt the crock pot in my back. That's a great description. But I, hey, guess what I did today? I start, I'm, I'm starting 2024 off right. I How are you starting 2024 off right? I, I washed my hair today. You can't tell. Right? Hey, no, you can. Yeah, you did. Yeah. But I put this nasty ass hat on, so it probably stinks again. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I don't know if I. <laughs> it's a. Uh, what? It was something that sounded better up here. I'm, okay, I'll say it. We're all a family. Okay. That hat actually doesn't smell as bad as I thought it would. <laughs> you smelled my hat? Yeah. Why you smelled my hat? The other day you were in your closet. I was in your bathroom. You went in there to pick out a shirt. I picked the hat up, sniffed it. It's because it's brown as can be. It is. It, I mean, the hat is literally <laughs> deteriorating. But Careful. I said, this shit's going to smell awful. Yeah. It wasn't half bad. Yeah. Smell my hair. I said, well, okay, hair, yeah. I'm not going to breathe. It's clean. Yeah. Clean. Yeah. Thank you. Thank it's you. clean. Thank you. I'm very ashy but right But why? Now. But why? Why? Why does it take a, a, a resolution for you to wash your scalp? I, I honestly didn't do it as a resolution. I, I did it because I've been... So what happens with me, right? After our live shows, right? I get nasty after oh, our live shows. Oh, live shows, December 7th. Exactly. And normally I have like a bender. You so like you know how like after... um. Athletes win championships and then they're they like, get fat. they get fat, smoke stoves, eat a couple drink baby all back the time. ribs, That's take me. a month and a half off and then get back to it. That's me every after every live show. And so I just, I've been feeling gross. I look gross. I haven't got a haircut. I've been, been treating myself right. And then I was like, I should like, we're back God. in, we're back in the season of prepping for the next live show, Tampa, Florida on uh, February, February 17th. 17th. Tickets Capital available Theater. now. Uh, almost sold Already out. Sold, yeah, literally. Meet and greet just sold out. Sorry guys. Um, I mean, but if you come to the after party. Yeah. Your home oh, that after party, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna Dude, be. our last after party, the LA after party was, yeah, fantastic. Turn. I have a feeling about this Tampa show, right? I can always tell about how the tickets were gonna drown. Oh, I told you about that dream I had. I told you about that dream. I don't know, I don't need to say it to that. I, I had a weird dream that the place you were performing was literally connected <laughs> to the ocean. Oh, yeah, and like the people. It was a dark dream. I don't okay, know. I must have watched a scary movie. I don't know. Yeah. Basically, we had a fantastic show. We walked outside. We were all in the tsunami. Oh anyway, God. see, uh, stinky insides. But, um, I have a feeling about this Tampa show that I feel like it's going to be the best show. Ooh. Based on how the tickets are moving. Better than New York? I feel like it has the opportunity to. It has the opportunity to. Let's just set the record straight. There's what no happened? fibbing. There's no line in 2024, right? What happened? We said LA was great. LA was fantastic. It was. We love y'all as a second home. New York is still on top. Oh, I think we said that. After we the might thing. have, but we, we might that. have like covered it up. We might have been nice with I, it. You were. I was very honest. New York is still the new New York is still the city to beat. Straight up. And the and, New but, York show was out of this world. But the LA after party is oh, the, the LA, after party. Okay. To beat. After party list, New LA, Dallas, <laughs> then New York. Show list, New York, Dallas, LA. He, he just spilled. spilled he just stuff. spilled 1.3 fluid ounces of monster. <laughs> I, um, how was your week, Bubba? How are you feeling? How are you doing? Okay, so you already know. Well, hell, I don't know. I I don't peg you as the guy that. Don't peg me. I well, I've never pegged you. Let's not. <laughs> let's get that on air. I've never pegged you. I don't deem you as the man that makes like goals and takes time to go New Year's resolution. I feel like you're the type of guy that's like. I got that willpower. If I want to do a goal, it's, I'm going to yeah. stay inside. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Okay. So I spent this week making some goals. Okay. I don't want to share them with you yet, but I, that that's what I did with my week. So why do you speak? Because you asked me. I would you say, promoted my speech. I would say 90% of the things you, you and you, 90% of the time you talk, there's not much that's gained from everybody that listens. My mom actually told me from a young age, I have a lot of what she calls useless knowledge. Yeah, you have the useless existence. I can tell you existence. exactly when Julius Caesar put in this law to build the aqueducts and get proper plumbing. Who asked for it? Who oh, cares about it? You remember, do you remember back in 2023, we're reflecting on 2023. I had a question about pipes, right? And, yes. and bathrooms. Yes. And I said, so there's just poop going down the <sighs> wall. And y'all killed me. I get killed on the internet all the time. I've been seeing those cool little videos. You're welcome for making your rent. Um, I see all y'all's videos making fun of me. Great. Get your content off of me. Um, I know exactly what you're about to say. And we were at your house I know yesterday. I exactly huh? what you're about to say. We're all chilling in the living room. And I heard a toilet flush. And I heard some shit moving. And I said, no one's in the bathroom right now in here. It's your word. And you, oh. I said, Cam, what was that noise? And what did you say to I'm me? I'm sitting there playing UFC 5, throwing some uppercuts. I was like, oh, someone just sent a shit, a turd down the wall. 
<laughs> yeah, it's not ideal. I'm not gonna lie. That's the one gripe I have about sharing walls and apartments. No matter how nice your apartment is, our neighbor flushes, and I yeah. can hear his fecal matter <laughs> going down my drywall. Yeah. That's, but I mean, that's not. It's yeah. not ideal. It's I'm not, not. and it's so <laughs> loud. Like it, it wasn't. Not. It was like it was. It was really like it was the next door. Yeah. It's not like a this little like. It's it's like that you can hear every stage of it. Like I, oh, he clicked it. Here comes the draining of the water. There goes the turd. Here comes the refilling. It's like <laughs> I feel like if we were quiet enough, we would have been able to hear him go. Ah. Oh yeah, we definitely could have heard a wipe or two. Do you? That's the most uncomfortable thing. I. That's why I don't poop in public. I love people in hearing public. my strains. I don't want I don't want anybody to hear that and don't smell my excretion if we're not friends. That's such a weird like animalistic thing. To like, hear my screeches? Like I don't want you to hear me poop. I don't want you to smell my poop. Bro, my sphincter is open. I'll sit down in a pub I'll sit down in a mall. And I you'd think I was at the beach of Normandy. I will literally be like sensitive, sensitive times. I watched a D-Day movie the other day. That's a sad thing. Oh wait, wait, which one was it? Saving Fred Ryan. For the first time? Uh, the first time all the way through. I never got past that first scene as a kid. Bro. When they stormed, I, I was like, bro's picking up his arm and looking around. I was yeah. like, oh, it's a tough thing. Yeah. Same for Ryan's fantastic. But we, since we're talking about plumbing, we're talking about all this stuff. We were, we were talking about my nasty, my nasty excretions, right? Yeah. I've been smelling horrid. I've been smelling yeah. like, and when I've been burping, it smells like burnt Tupperware. Yeah. Like it's, I, I've been smelling absolutely awful. <laughs> That's such a specific... It's like you could say that and I, I smell it yeah, immediately. That it's is horrible. a very specific smell. I smell like... Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, an assembly line at Ford F-150 <laughs> whenever, like, there was something that went wrong. That's what, that's what I smell at like. Ford F-150, not making a Ford F-150. <laughs> at the building, Ford F-150. Right in the heart of Detroit. And so, that's oh. where they make those? Detroit. Motor City. That's where they make those? That's like, where the, like, one of the first, if well, that's not. That's where they make Dodge. The Your tongue is purple. You have a pur you your have tongue's a wide. <laughs> you like it. You like the way it feels on you. You like my purple tongue. But okay, this is a thing. I shower, Jeez. right? I shower, right? I don't know if that's. Fine. I can't. I can't. I can't attest to that. I, okay. So I have to take your word as bond, but you've you've lied before. You've lied to me before. One of the things I've realized about myself. What happened? You no, know, I I just had a disgusting thought. You naked in the shower doing something. Crazy thought. No, doing I know what. No. <laughs> Enjoying I, myself? I don't want to. No, 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 no. Wait, what? I just, I, I, my mind immediately made me think of, is he thoroughly cleaning himself? Oh, yeah. And I imagined you throwing that little right paw right up on that thing and just going to work. I, that's a sick, why recently, am I saying this? Recently in the shower, this might sound crazy. This might be a little TMI. I've never had a shower as big as I do now. you never uh, had a shower with a, a bench in it either. Now, I sat on the bench the <laughs> other day, but my balls got cold. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't like that. Yeah. You gotta sit to where they're hanging and off. And I side. felt like my sphincter was collecting water. <laughs> you sitting there butt uh butt chugging butt chugging bath water. <laughs> Some suds. <laughs> oh and my it might be good for your I insides. was too open for my bidet the other day too. I felt like I almost, I, I started to cough. <laughs> no, you go he, he spit out a stream of water? If your body was that in tune, and you first, if you were that open downstairs, no, I breathe. Close it. I breathe. All right, bro. I feel like if somebody that's why you can jump high. <laughs> that's why you're be good at careful. Running. What? That's why you can run good. Why? Because you're getting my... double oxygen. You're breathing through your lungs and your ass. <laughs> you're sitting there. <laughs> no, I feel like if somebody were, to, if I were to get kidnapped, which is my top fear, and somebody were to put tape over my mouth, I could breathe fine. I'd just be like. So not because you have a nose. I can't breathe out of my nose. <laughs> I can't. I used to take exercises because my mom was like, close your mouth. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> there's so many things wrong with you. <laughs> Bro, there's so many things that could all, right. all pile up and add on to your sickness. The You Should Know Podcast. P. Hello.
I don't know about you. I'm trying to go into 2024, clean wallet, and get rid of these dumb little subscriptions I don't even know I have. Bro, I'm not going to lie to you. 2023, I was drowning in, like, subscriptions I didn't even know I ever signed up for. I swear to God, last month, three gym memberships came out. Ask me how many gyms I go to. Probably just one. I go to one, the same one every day. When did I get subscriptions? These but places? these other two gyms are just slicing your pockets every single month. Another thing. Name any movie ever. I can watch it. I have a subscription to every streaming platform didn't know i signed up for those how many streaming platforms do you actually watch uh let's see one <laughs> this episode is brought to you by rocket money Woo! Ro rocket money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions monitors your spending and helps you lower your bills i can see all of my subscriptions in one place and if i see something that i don't want i can cancel it with a tap what? i never have to get on the phone with customer service or weird people on the phone don't get you started i oh know do not God. do not start we know how it goes it's about to be 2024 if i call your business there better be a human being on but we don't have to worry about anything more we have rocket money that's very true rocket money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of 720 dollars a year imagine that imagine an extra 720 I just take just it. folded put right in that I pocket could take it with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions stop wasting money on things that you don't use cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash ysk that's rocketmoney.com slash ysk Hey, one more time for you. Rocketmoney.com slash YSK. Now on to the rest of the episode. Wham! The You Should Know Podcast. I feel like I might start a fire if I keep sitting like this. Yeah. I'm so dry and so hairy. Dude, you're, it's like I'm seeing a bit, a little too much of the upper thigh right now. A little too, I'm seeing where the discoloration starts I have a, to kick I have in. a picture of you fresh out of the shower <laughs> on my phone right now. Dog. He's not lying. I'm not going to lie. It was 2 a.m. yesterday. He's not lying. I was sitting on my couch, Johnny Walker. I was, drunk. I was watching Peaky Blinders. And you pull out. And no, I was going on my phone. My beautiful body. <laughs> I was going on my phone to just like look at something, but I never closed out the photo app. And that's the first <laughs> thing I saw, bro. And I took that joy mode too, and it went down. Oh. <laughs> it's like joy mode. Hello. Oh. oh my no, God. Okay. Can I say you what have I to say? delete that. Like, you have to delete that. Oh, I thought you meant from the podcast. No, no, you have to delete that image off your phone. Liv, do you want it? Do you want that picture before I delete it? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a nasty screensaver. Imagine you, like, <laughs> imagine a woman at a supermarket asks you for the time, and you go right there, and I'm literally just like this. You look like a based turkey in that. <laughs> like, you look like you know in Thanksgiving. I did look thick in that picture. In Thanksgiving, right before you inject that turkey. Yeah, put don't. <laughs> The and you see all right, the like the, that injection. You see all the, like the skin tags. Okay, I don't have skin tags, you asshole. And close your knees, you little leprechaun. Butt's like a, it's just the way it goes. Like not everybody's butt does the actual butt thing. Goes. So no. do, so since they couldn't see, what does my butt do? Guide my hand, ready? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and, I'm, so I'm dragging a wagon. Okay, I, got a, so I got a hitch trailer. He ass. was sideways holding his man meat, and all I could see was like. I, no, I was sideways holding a towel <laughs> over my man meat, and all you could see was my V and an ass for days. And you got good, like, you look like a turkey. That's what I'm saying. If you, if we were to be in an apocalypse, I would cut you open. I'd be like, give me that, give me that right thigh. You literally couldn't get close enough to me with a knife if we were in an apocalypse. I would slip. Live. Good God. Good God. Did That's my baby. Did y'all take joy mode before y'all got here? What the hell is going on? I love what, you, girl. Can I get back to what I was saying in the shower? I don't get tummy aches in the shower. I can't shit in the shower. Have you ever tried to shit in the shower? Yeah. What the f is wrong with you? <laughs> Dude, you, you've tried to shit in your shower. I've, I've been like, what would be that bad about it? Not a full, like, not like a, like a, a massive, not, massive turd. No. Sitting on a drain. No. And then hot water going over it. No. I know my body. I know what kind of, what's going to come out of me if I have to poo-poo. It's shit. No, but there's sometimes, I'm sometimes, I'm like a, I'm like, I'm like mud when it rains sometimes. Now imagine if that mud came from your lower intestine. Yeah, but it's, it's watery. And it was waste. There might be corn in there. If I had, <laughs> this is disgusting, dog. This is so <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't get, I don't get like tummy aches in the shower. It was all I was trying to say. 
I'm glad you, I'm glad you cleared that up. Uh, the fact that you've even contemplated shitting in your shower is beyond me. It is beyond me. I, okay, but that's the thing about me. You know how I act whenever I get things that are mine. Imagine. Okay, let's 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 do this. Imagine you you had ten plates, not for dinner. I don't even have ten plates. Not for in dinner. My house. Maybe a bowl. Whatever. One bowl or ten bowls. Whatever you can put a serving on. Doesn't have to be a, a plate bowl. I'll take a plate. I'll take a plate. Anything. Okay. You have ten plates. You shit on it ten times. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, it's not back to back shits to where they progressively get smaller. Let's say every time you have to shit, you got to shit on these magical plates. This is so gross. I want you to sit there and try to visualize <laughs> your ten poops. Yeah. Think about how bad any one of those going in the shower would be. But you're not listening to me when I talk. Oh, I don't care if it's liquid. What I'm yeah, it's, if it's liquid, it'll go straight down the drain. I don't care if it's liquid. I've shit in the shower before. You belong in an outhouse. I've shit in the shower before when I was sick. You don't deserve plumbing. You don't deserve 2023 plumbing. It's 2024. You 2024 now. But you thought about the shit in 2023. That. <laughs> Oh my god. How is your how is your break? We took a break. We took a break. How is your break? Thank you. I hate you. You make me nasty. Oh. How was your break? Um, Honestly, if I could shit like this, I'd have a good day. You know what I almost impulse bought the other day? I'll what? answer your question in two seconds. Okay. So apparently you were sitting on the on the on the on the loo, right? We're sitting on the loo. Time out. We are we're on separate toilets. Wait, who? You're me sitting you? on the loo. You sit to take a shit. Doesn't matter if it's you, me, Uncle Bob down the street. When you sit to poop, right? Are you saying this happened? Because <laughs> we've never it's shit. Like we're switching roles today. <laughs> we've never shared a loo today. Together. We've never shared a toilet in our existence. I'm saying, <laughs> like, walk with me in this imaginary S imaginary scenario. scenario. Okay, yes. you're sitting on a toilet. One cheek in it. Get, no, you're sitting normal to take a normal. I'm about to be done. What bathroom I'm about, has two? I'm about to skip the story. Are we at home or in public? <laughs> I'm trying to Don't follow be. your story. Okay. You are in your house okay. by yourself, okay. sitting down on your toilet, yeah. take a poo, there's no one else there. Yeah. How do you sit? Give me your stance. You have your phone and all, probably lean forward, looking at the phone, right? Okay. So, this apparently, what, you, you just saw yourself, but you look like... <laughs> now imagine when you're butt-ass naked. I hate taking a shit naked. Like, it's a necessity, I get butt-ass, and then I go to poop right before I shower. But dude, if I ever just peek up and get a nice little view of myself in the mirror, I'm just like, man... <laughs> <laughs> Bro, okay, there's some things that when you catch yourself in the mirror, you look crazy. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm an adult. You are. I've had intimate moments in my life. <laughs> there's a mirror by my bed. No, you're disgusting. Should I not say this? No, you're disgusting. And I looked up at myself. And I had on. Imagine this outfit right now, right? With my shoes and my socks and my hat. But there's nothing else on. <laughs> I had on Air Forces, my socks and my hat on, and I could just see my back. And I said, what happened to me? I said, how's anybody attracted to me? I'm sorry, mom. Bro, you being butt ass naked, making love in G-Fazos is insane. You're so tall. Yo. Oh my god, there'd be so much brown. There'd be so much just light brown, little different shades at different parts, and then just bricks on the feet. Just white bricks. Put the hat on. Oh my god. Dog. I was like a oh. construction worker that got robbed of his like his like work outfit. I just got my shoes and my hat my hard hat on. I just thought, like, how intimate can the moment even be how 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 intimate can the moment even be if you're in socks, shoes, and a ball cap? But it's not about like, that. If you're going to leave those on, you better have a wife beater on or something. There's no way someone should see your little Hershey Kiss nipples, your lower back hair, your leg tattoo, but then you look down and you got G-Fazos on. You got fresh bricks, dead stock, and, and dingy, oh my god, and dingy 1980s hooping socks. And a <sighs> cap. I'm sorry, mom. Oh my god, I'm, I'm sorry, mom too. Oh, okay, Holy so uh, how was your? How no, was your? Back to what I was saying. Okay, oh yeah, the sorry. poops, bro. <laughs> We've talked for 20 minutes about pooping. We're the worst. <laughs> how does it always come up? All right, when you poop, apparently, apparently, uh, 
<laughs> so when you poop like this, right? Yeah. But it's not the best on the intestines. Apparently. You're supposed to hike. So yeah, that, that's they what the sell, squatty. No, they have, sell stools. I have it. What? At my parents' house. Well, I bought it in high school. Or my Aunt Shelly bought it for us in high school. It, it, it opens it up. That's why, Are that's, you serious? That's why I tell you. Remember I told you whenever you were having bad stomach pains, you couldn't shit? And I, this is what I do and I can't shit. I'll literally, even if I don't have a stool, I'll like go like this. Like I'll like good posture and bring my, my knees up to me. And so it just kind of like opens me up. It like, it's like a tunnel. It's like a funnel. It's like a tunnel, like a funnel. <laughs> like, like a, a tunnel, jump. like a funnel. I'm Jimmy Runnel. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um. Okay. We were just on break. We had a good oh, break. Yeah. Enough poop. Enough fecal matter. Tell me about your break. How was it? God, sex and forces is wild. But <laughs> my my uh, break. Uh, the breaks are always good. There's never a bad break. Uh, we, you went to Austin for a couple of days. Yeah, boy, did I. I went to, uh, Oklahoma for a couple of days. Both of us had great times, just relaxing. Came back, spent a couple of nights together, hanging out. Dudes being bros, guys being guys. Uh, it was Your fantastic. shit, uh, that was so shit. G dudes being dudes, guys being guys. That was my break. You want me to say- Say something! Uh, we played 2K, Peyton beat me two games in a row. We played UFC, I cleared the entire house. I think we ordered pizza one night, had a couple nectis. I wanna uh, watch- hey, You know what I'm gonna do? Watch That the was movie. not your Christmas break. And for Christmas, that, we did not do any of that. We went- uh, oh, Hey, I wanna- before. You know what I'm gonna we do? We went to Oklahoma. You, you know I got to see both sides of Liv's family. You know what I'm gonna do? Fantastic. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the YouTube studio app when this uploads. <laughs> I'm gonna screenshot the view duration, and I'm gonna show you the bar graph, or the line graph, of when this story started, and the views. How would you- <laughs> we went to Oklahoma. I got to see both sides of her family. It was fantastic. We ate great dinner, played a lot of games. Put, I put the weird games on my Instagram story. Yeah, I saw that y'all were doing a hip flexor exercise with candy canes. And my grandpa said, what they doing? <laughs> it was not a hip. It was a game. And my quads were on fire. Yeah. Hey, my your shit hip? was my. It's fine. It's good. <laughs> I took a break. It's good. <laughs> Are you going to ask me how? What does that move? It's good. I took a break. <laughs> it's good. I can imagine you as a dad. You know what you're gonna be like as a dad? You're a great father. You're gonna go to your you're going but your kid's gonna hate you in high school. I wanna what? let you know that. Because why? Because first That's not nice. Because first of all, your kid's gonna get bullied because it's why? an astro ginger scientist. <laughs> First of all, I'm, I'm gonna love that kid. I'm just gonna say that's what it is. But and second of all, you're a fa you're famous, and your and it's, social media is gonna it's taking over. So your kids classmates are gonna pull up on an iPhone every day, be like, "Is this your dad dressed as Mrs. Claus?" And you know, all your the household has no honor. <laughs> your dad dressed as a grandma, <laughs> and. Yeah, Ivy. But and, and another thing which you're gonna do though that it's completely up to you. This I can 100% see Cam doing. I can 100% see Cam doing this as a dad when your kids in high school. Mm -hmm. Cam's going to be a volunteer chaperone at school <laughs> dances. No shot. And then in not hell. even that. He's gonna be the volunteer chaperone at the school dances. No Kids are already gonna hate you because everybody's gonna come and take pictures with you. Nah, I would never do that. And then what you're gonna do is they're gonna play on a throwback. <laughs> they're gonna turn on, God forbid, they turn on some gunna. <laughs> oh my oh, God. They turn, they turn on, on, on a gunna? Cam's gonna be like, oh, y'all know nothing about this. Bitch, I'm big, I know that's fine. That's fine. Friends, I'm talking about it. Yeah. And, and then Cam's gonna be in the yeah. middle of the dance floor with yeah. JC Penny slacks on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> JC Penny slacks, a, like a striped button up tucked in with, with a, nice, a nice leather belt and like Cole Hans on the feet. Oh my God. And then they're going to be, your kid's going to be like, dad, <laughs> like, dude, go home, man. I'm just like, bitch, I don't need to work. Yeah. Oh, I'd, I'd hate myself. I would <sighs> never do that. No. That's one thing I vow. I hope I never embarrass my kids. It will happen. Yeah, oh, hundred percent. But I, I, but you're cool though. To, yeah. To my extent, I'm going to try to embarrass them. As little as I can. But if, if this embarrasses them, be like, this is how you have a roof over your yeah, head. Yeah, go, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you, you like this? Uh, I'm going to embarrass your kids, though. I'm going to be the but cool that's uncle. that's your job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to be the uncle that shows up. We don't, okay. allow, don't allow me to pick up your kids from school. I'm going to rent a f***ing Huracan <laughs> and blast, like, Looney Tunes soundtrack and be, like, outside like this. Be like, <laughs> I'll be like, Malachi, 
Come on, big dog. Uncle P's here. Yeah, let's get you back to your house, boy. <laughs> Say, hop in the car, boy. The You Should Know Podcast. Heineken 0.0 is an alcohol-free option to the original Heineken that you love. Cam, Oof. it's a new year. A lot of people are starting new Hello. habits. We want to get rid of those hangovers. You know what I mean? We, 2023, we woke up a lot being like, oh, my head Where's hurts. ibuprofen? Ibuprofen. No, stop. But it. we got the Heineken 0.0, so you can enjoy the great taste of the Heineken that you love. And also, you're not sticking out like a sore thumb at a party. You're just a part of the mix. You're just you're But just you grooving. got that... 0.0. You got that zero, zero, baby. Heineken 0.0 is perfect for all the times where you would love a beer, but you just can't quite take the alcohol with it. I'm talking if you're working on lunch, if you're working through a lunch, you got presentations, mm -hmm. you, got, you got a nice corporate meeting you got to go to. Okay. Friday night birthday party, but you got to wake up at 6 a.m. for a 5K. <laughs> In any of those, any scenario you can think of, 100% of the taste, 0% of the alcohol. Cheers me again. Hello. Dry January. I know a lot of y'all have been DMing us saying we're y'all doing a dry January. So we have the perfect alternative for you if you love the taste of a great old Heineken. This is 0.0, .0 alcohol free. Heineken 00, 100% taste, 0.0% alcohol, and only 69 calories. Hey, it's a great number. <laughs> Hey, if you want to get yourself a Heineken 0.0, .0 click that link in the description of the podcast right now. It is available for you. It'll take you to a cart. It'll put this in the cart, and you get that YSK love. Remember, you must be 21 and up to purchase. Please enjoy Heineken responsibly. Let's have a safe, fun, and a 0.0, .0 2024. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. You didn't ask me how my break was. I know how your break was. I don't need to know. No, I, so I, next. there's something that happened I didn't tell you, and this is 100% true. Oh, God. The, the craziest I mean, thing. You're strapped. I'm right? telling you, this is real. How was your break? This is real, and I didn't tell y'all. Because this, this sucks. This is our relationship now. I can't tell y'all the super crazy stuff that happens to me because I, want, save it for, I have yeah. to save it for here. The craziest thing happened to me when I went back home for the I holidays. Dude, every time you start one of these, I start to sweat. Okay. I'm literally sweating. So the... The podcast has gotten bigger, right? Correct. And now my mom's friends are starting to get involved in the podcast. Be like, oh my God, this is your son. And they showed her the taxidermy video. Wherever I was talking about, I want to be taxidermied, taxidermied when I die. Put on a wall. And my mom has always hated that video. She gets so embarrassed by it and makes her sad. She doesn't like it. And she brings it up like subtly. Out of nowhere. She'll bring it up subtly be like, that's weird. Don't talk about you being taxidermy. I don't like that, boy. Yeah, that's and, bullshit, Peyton. Yeah. And so I'm just like, oh, mom, it's funny. It's whatever. I like it. I want to do it. Oh. She's always held a certain grudge about that, though. So my mom, when I went back home, she goes, hey, Peyton, I want to take you to meet my friend. I want to take you to their house. Now, when she said that, I was like, this isn't my mom. Yeah. She doesn't go to people's houses, and she doesn't want me to go there with her. It's a trap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. My mom protects me. She knows she doesn't want me going to people's houses. She At doesn't all. want people meeting me, like that kind of stuff. So when she said that, I go... Oh, she's lost it. <laughs> Why is my mom taking me places? And she offered to drive. I haven't seen my mom drive since 2008, yeah, right? No. And she has a mom. nice car. Not your mom. She's been abducted. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, what? And she was like, it's going to be cool. Their kids are fans of the videos. And my friend has seen the videos. She just wants to meet you. I go, that's not you. That doesn't make sense. We get in the car. She starts driving. And she goes, while we're driving, she starts to say, Peyton, you got to be careful what you talk about on the internet. You're getting a little too weird. You're saying too many weird things. I was like, what's happening? Why are you saying this to me? We pull up to the house, right? I'm getting antsy. We get into this house. House has a weird smell to it. And I'm like, already, mom, I know you wouldn't bring me here <laughs> yeah. with a house that has a this weird scent. This isn't you. Okay, so she goes, the, the, the mom of the owner of the house, right? Her friend opens the door. She goes, oh my God, nice to meet you, Mama Harden. Or nice to meet you. She goes, nice to see you, Mama Harden. Nice to meet you, Peyton. I go, hey, nice to meet you. The whole time I've had, I'm having an anxiety attack because I know something is happening. Yeah, this right? is a setup, 100%. She goes, just oh take God. a sit in the living, take a seat in the living room. I'm going to go grab some drinks for y'all. The kids are no. in their room. No. I'm like, why are we talking about kids? Why are you getting me a drink? I, it's like, I don't want a beverage. I'm sweating and I'm about to pass out. I'm starting to see dots. You know what I mean? She goes, sit on the couch. The couch has like a uh, plastic over it. And I'm like, you're not 84. Yeah. Mom, are we about to die? And so I'm like, I sit down. Yeah. <laughs> And there's a nightstand 
right by the couch. I'm sitting on the edge of the couch. I put my arm up. I see something out of my peripheral. I look over. I kid you not. They have a taxidermied cat on the nightstand of the house. It's going like this at me. I go, holy shit. There is a taxidermied cat right here. Again, while I'm freaking out about this, I'm looking at the thing, looking at me in a, an attack position. I'm like, oh, my mom has set me up. But the whole time I'm looking at this, I'm getting that stench over and over again. And I'm like, what is that smell in this house? And why has my mom brought me here? I'm starting to put two and two together. She brought me here because that taxidermied, right? Beyond scared We're straight. sitting down for about 15 minutes, right? We're talking. I'm uncomfortable. My ass is wet. I'm getting a puddle on that plastic couch. The cat has not blinked once. <laughs> Marble eyes. The kids, I'm starting to hear them make more noise in that room. The, the, their mom goes, I don't want to say their names. They go, kids, come to the living room. One kid comes to the living room. A second kid comes to the living room. These kids are nasty. <laughs> These kids got dark, like, gross feet. Their fingers are nasty. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't wiped their mouths in like two days. Like you can tell, you, I can tell everything they've eaten in the past 48 hours on their mouths, right? There's one more kid. They got hobbit hooves. There's one more kid and it's carrying something. If I fuck. I swear to God, this kid comes to the living room with a second taxidermied cat that's on a wooden plank. Like it's like mounted, like on a plank. And he, the kid is holding it as they're playing. I'm like, what the hell is happening in Get this me house? out of this house. At this point, I'm looking over at my mom like, you evil <laughs> It's like, I know what you're doing. <laughs> and the whole time, you know my mom and her sarcastic ass. She's looking at me like, yeah, she's like, mm -hmm. you want to be taxidermy, don't you? I'm like, I need to leave this. Like, I need to leave this house. The conversations are weird. And then one of the kids put the podcast on the TV. You know I don't like that. No. I'm watching myself. There's a dead marble-eyed cat right here. And there's a kid playing with a dead marble-eyed cat. Hasn't wiped its mouth in six and a half days. <laughs> the bottom of their feet are black. Right? These kids are gross. We're, we're, I'm starting to settle in to the dead cats, the nasty kids, and the plastic couch and watching myself. We're almost done with the episode. We're going to leave when the episode is done. That smell got to a point oh my God, where so I true. thought somebody was dead inside of this plastic couch. But then I hear like a bell, like a jingle, 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 and it's starting to walk towards me the sounds getting closer i look over and there is a cat that looks like it died three years ago and they're just puppeteering it it's still alive and i go what is that? <laughs> i said i said i said what is that animal oh bro i can see the concern in your eyes that you said what is that i say and you know you got to be nice whenever you see like somebody's I animal like, what the fuck is that like not not oh nice pet I'm like what the fuck is that? And so you know whenever you see someone's animal that they love but it's oh, on yeah. its deathbed, you should probably put that like down. a sixteen year old dog. Yeah, and you're just like oh it's so cute. Exactly. <laughs> you're like oh hey what's this thing's name? It says it's nineteen years old. Its name is Mittens or something. And we go once she I kid you not this mother of the house says once he transitions. <laughs> We're going to get him taxidermy too. I look at my mom and she goes, your dad just called. We got to go. We get into the car, right? I don't even say a word to my mom. My mom doesn't look at me. She's driving. She goes, told you stop saying weird shit on the podcast. That's how I spent my holidays. That is the most savage shit your mom could have done. Yeah. I mean, that is a prime example of, I'm going to show you, not tell you. Yeah. I'm going to, like, literally, I'm going to scare you straight. Yeah. 
And on top of that, that entire household deserves an A10 warthog to drive by and. Yeah, but there's kids in the house. Yeah, there's fucking hobbits. Hobbits playing with board cats and marble eyed I kittens. Said bathe your fucking kids. Dude, bathe the kids. He's petting a cat on a board. It's like Ed, Ed, and Eddie, the fucking board friend, and they stapled a cat to it. No. When I say it was a fever dream in that house, I was sitting on a plastic couch. You gotta give me the. What did the rest look like? Some other like was it? There was. There's there a, a lot of plants. Like a cre uh, oh, a grotesque no. amount of plants and knickknacks. Oh no! In the no I, no. I uh, I swear to God, if I would have went to that section of the house where the kids came from, their little quadrant, there would have been probably a dead human. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, no, dude. For a <laughs> second, for a split second. I thought the kids were upstairs taxidermy and the cat themselves. <laughs> That's what I thought you were going to say. I thought they were up there cutting guts out and shit. Kids come down, there's like, clean now, their knife off. Now I get the concern of why y'all had such a visceral reaction when I said I want to yeah, be taxidermy. And that's a cat, and you were terrified. You are 20 times the size of any cat on this earth. Yeah. You would literally take up an entire wall like this. That would be kind of sick, though. Oh, what if you got taxidermied in your photo op, though? What do you and mean? You held an arm like this and you went, Oh, yeah. And, like, people could always come and take pictures. Cam made fun of me. <laughs> How I take oh, pictures yeah. of fans. <laughs> Anytime there's a fan interaction, it's like, oh, we love y'all. We're like, oh, no, we love y'all. Thank you so much. Da, da, da. Want to take pictures? Yeah, of course. This is Peyton every time. He gets his hat. He goes. <laughs> and it's this, it's this stiff, it's the stiff ass shoulders. It's the, it fixes the hat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, if any of you have a picture, go open your phone right now and look at it. He's doing one. I swear to God, I'm do. I guarantee I'm doing this. <laughs> He's doing one of two things: this, <laughs> or <laughs> it's one of those two. Every photo out, out there, every photo is it? Oh my God! Oh no! no! What are you doing? <coughs> this text is... Oh. <laughs> what are you... What did you just do? So I'm 24. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I, I had good rhythm too. Joy mode. Yeah, yeah. That joy mode stays in your system, God. bro. <laughs> They need a response to the podcast. Oh my god. Send us some more packs. Oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck. You said. Oh. oh. I have That's that wild. video of you. Okay. I also have a question, right? I've been really into candles recently, right? I've been like washed or not, that is just a rough look, man. That is like it's hard to stare at, bro. Yeah. <laughs> the edges are laid, sliced up, like, bro, God, uh, Lee. Uh, all right. I've been having a thing with candles, right? I, I've been loving candles recently. It brings a sexiness to the home. It does. Candle oh, candles just make you... Little candles, little Joy Mode. Joy Mode's got a free episode. <laughs> Y'all got a free episode today. Um, I, I love candles, right? I've been, I've been lighting candles everywhere. I got a candle in every room of the house, every bathroom. Um... I had a question though, because I was really looking at that candle. I was burning it. I have one of the long sticks. You point the, the little fire things in. It. Hey. And then I was looking at it, right? And I was like, that shit's hot. That's yeah. fire. That it's two fire. fires. There's two wicks in there. So I have two wicks going. Oh, and big it, candle. <coughs> <laughs> you know the crazy part? Uh, Super quick side note. When we burp like that, it might mess us up. That's it. If she burps like that, she's literally going to go to the sink and spit out a black solid. I remember from her she throat. did that in my parents' house in Austin. That was, I don't understand. That, that. was, anyway. mm. dude, she was spitting brown tar <laughs> from her mouth. Like you were a bet, like an evil Pokemon or something. So, this is the thing about candles, right? And I honestly, I want you to, I want you to inform me, right? Okay. Hey. And all you other, mm, never mind. Mm, uh, fight it, fight the on, on, pa on Patreon, I'm cooking, y'all. 2024. Until 2024. 2024. If you want to get cooked, go to Patreon. <laughs> okay. 
I have a question that I don't know anything about. Shocker, right? I'll tr I'll try to stay I'll try to stay humble and a gracious teacher in the moment, and not if, uh, depending on your response. I don't understand how the glass doesn't set on fire in a candle. It's glass. Glass is flammable. No. Glass is not flammable. It's glass. It's 2024. Literally, fire is used to create glass. Wait, hold on. What? Say it again. I'm sorry. How? Glass is not flammable. There's not a single, there's nothing flammable about glass. There's nothing that can burn in glass. What the fuck did you say? That's why you can literally put something, like you can put a... a so if I were to, okay. If I were to break my window right of my car, yes. glass falls on the floor of the concrete. Yes. I get matches mm -hmm. and I put that on there. I don't have a fire. Nothing happens. I don't believe that. Nothing happens. Glass can set on fire. So, no, it can't. Okay. Have you ever seen a house on fire? Yes. Are the windows on fire? No. The window... Oh. Yes. Yes, it is. You're about to piss me off. I was trying to do better. The windows are shattered, not on fire, dumbass. The power of the flames breaks the window. Glass cannot be burned. You want to start spitting like a little creep in an untied shoe? Let's go, buddy. Glass can't burn. Hence why you can take a lasagna in a big-ass glass pan, put that bitch in a 400-degree oven I've set things on for fire two in hours. No, you have not. Yes, what have you set on fire in an oven? Taco shells. Taco shells, not <clears throat> glass. Glass can't burn. Why? Because it's glass. There's nothing flammable about it. There's nothing that can catch on fire. It's glass. How? What is glass? What is glass made of? It literally uses fire to make... Have you ever seen them make a vase? They get that shit. It's almost no. like magma. And they pull it and it looks like a big honeycomb. And then they shit. How does shape it get see-through? That's the part I don't... How do mirrors work? That's a fascinating question. How do you make know. a mirror? That's a fascinating question. Because it's question. glass, right? I, so yes. how do you make a vase that you can see through and then make... A mirror that even you can even see at the me. lowest form of of knowledge in Minecraft, you literally take sand, you put it in the furnace, and it gives you glass. Dead ass. Yeah. Is that why sand hurts when you walk on it? It's little glass pieces. <laughs> if sand hurts when you walk on it, you have the most sensitive feet ever. I have sensitive sand feet. feels fantastic. No, it depends. now if you get a little couple oh. little rocky sand, a couple of rocks, a couple of shells, yeah. twigs. Now we're talking yeah. but pure sand. I'd pay to walk on pure sand all the time. Uh, you know, I've always, okay. we should invent that a sand shoe. It's too late. We said it out loud, and I would never, I would never invest any of my money into that. Oh, well, neither would I. But like, wouldn't it be a cool prototype? No, horrible. Imagine you get a boot and it's just filled. You with ever sand wanted to torture yourself? <laughs> I tried that in middle school. I would go like this. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh my God, it gets me every time. You, you know, we're talking about glass and you just go, you ever want to torture yourself? Like, Not to like where your oh. life would end, but like I've always- <coughs> Oh, okay, I know what you mean, I'm sorry. I've always wanted to hit myself with a stun grenade and see how bad it is. You have said that in a flashbang. Like a flash, like a yeah. flashbang. Yeah. Imagine something- I wouldn't want that. Imagine something going off. Such a quick explosion of light yeah. and so loud. Now you can't see or hear. My dad, I, I would love to do that. My dad got hit by a flashbang, I think. See, but in the same in the same or regard like though, that. I would hate to be pepper sprayed. I would never want to be pepper sprayed. I would never want to be, and I guarantee getting hit with a flashbang is worse. So I, but pepper spray is just like no. Fun fact about uh, whenever I was a kid, my dad had pepper spray, right? And me and my brother, and my dad were in the backyard, and we were just spraying it out. <laughs> Why? Because it's so like it's not just like. <sighs> no, it's, it's like, like a straight line. Yeah, it's, it's very insane. direct. Insane. Yeah, but it was windy outside. <laughs> And so I hit it. My dad was behind me. That bitch said, "My dad's like, ah! He said, ah, ah, my shoulder." <laughs> and Preston was like, "I'll block it." <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, oh shit! shit. Tie That's your funny. shoe. T tie me. Tie, tie me up. Shoe. Tie me up and do what you want. <laughs> Make me so. Um. Make but me I'm saying, like, torture yourself to the point where, like, you ever wanted to do the hot coal walks or the glass walks? Oh, that's like not tort. That's like resort. That's like you're on the edge of like a stressful breakup, maybe a divorce, and you walk across those stones and really loosen. I don't think that would loosen really shit. I just like my feet brain. are fucking. High. Really loosens the brain. Okay, what is your ideal of like? This is a big debate I've seen online. Vacations. Are you one of the people on vacations that's itinerary based, or are you like I want to sit in my bed and just watch a show in a foreign land? Because I don't know what I'm at. 
I like a mixture of both, but if I had to choose one, give me itinerary. Because at the same, okay, I kind of Liv, Liv is Liv is the the literal woman that will be like, we could literally go to we could go downtown Dallas, yeah. just stay in a nice hotel and watch. Our I shows. love doing that, and oh, that's cool. But it's like we're gonna go pay three hundred dollars to stay in a room. You have it and watch the same show we can watch. Okay, tonight. but that's the thing about you. You put money over like what money can do for you. Like but you that, put the power of that. That like just having seems it. pointless. That seems pointless. The reset of that. That's a good investment on yourself, on your mental. Do you know on what your else I can do for three hundred dollars? Yeah, a lot. That's more of an investment on myself. All I'm doing what, for that. What putting in a fucking stock? Yeah, I'm no. talking about the piece of like your body and your mind and your relationship. That's what I'm talking about. Like I could what? go get couples massages and facials for three hundred dollars. Would you rather get completely worked on, all your extremities cleaned? All the tension rubbed out of you, or just go watch Suits in a damn uh, 17th story patio. That. The second, the latter. Well, that's you. That's you. <laughs> you, you know. Bougie. God. <laughs> no, but in terms of vacations, actual vacations, mm -hmm. not like, oh, we're stopping in whatever, Oklahoma to go somewhere else. Yeah. Like, I'm talking like you get on a you, plane, car, whatever. But if you go somewhere, you're staying there for four or five days, mm -hmm. I would definitely want things to do. But... I do me. love, I will point at you very erectly. <laughs> I do love a good, like, reset day. On, like, during the but vacation. But I can't do that at home. Oh, no, okay, during the vacation. The vacation. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying, like, the first day you get there, it's amazing. You unpack, you go hard. The second day, you're like, boom, we have this excursion. We can shop for a little bit, and then we're going to this nice ass dinner. And then the third day is like, chill. We got drunk at the dinner. Let's literally sleep in, no alarms. We do what we do. But on the next day, we got this at 9 a.m. and then we got this at 2:30 and another nice dinner at a new place. That's case. That's the thing about me. So in 2024, it's one of my resolutions is I want to actually have a vacation. I haven't like Bro, had we're, we're a vacation. Go. You in can go forever. and do your solos or go with someone else, but we're going on a group one. Yeah, yeah. I already have been. But like, I, I haven't had a vacation in years. Like yeah. years. I don't think like ever. That's literally gonna be the hardest part about you, by the way. What? I'm actually gonna trick you. <laughs> what? I'm gonna say, yeah, bro, I got your bag. I'm leaving that bag at home. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna record yeah. before. Okay. And then I'm going to have to like I, I almost wanna intentionally but make it look accidentally break your phone. I, it, I a small part of me. I Just need my to, phone. to set your mind free for f nine give me ninety six hours. <laughs> You'll enjoy the hell out of it. We're go we'll go we're going somewhere all inclusive. I'll give you your phone, but like maybe we set up a screen time but all you don't inclusive? know the password. Something like that. I wanna go to St. Bart's. I literally don't know what that is. If you know, you know. I want to go to St. Bart's or, okay, or I think this is what I'll have the most fun doing. Like a, like, you know, the cabin trip we went on? Yes. Cabin vlog is on Patreon. It is, bro. I want to do that, but like on steroids. I want to bring bro, like I'm, weapons I'm, like, okay, like, and I want to okay. like shoot things. I'm saying imagine, like targets, not animals. imagine that, but in Colorado, like the same thing, but the cabin's three times the size. Yeah. There's snow outside. Can I invite as many as you like? With they all, all have to sleep in your room though. That's, they're not that's gonna. A they're not gonna show up and take my real estate. I will have a bed for me and my queen. No, they can't cook for shit. You rats can sleep outside on the porch. No, it's nice. They're like me, just pretty. You're pretty. Oh, thank you. I have to shit. Oh, Safe break. Break. I have to pee too. Okay, we took a. Okay, uh, let's be transparent in 2024. Cam's my poop buddy. Yeah. Definitely had to go take the Cleveland Browns, the old Super Bowl, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and you know, our bodies are so in sync. They are. I, it's like we have a metamorphosis double I entendre think we, traction control. We got to stop talking about poop so much. No, we do. It's a weird, it's like a weird, just like backbone of this podcast. Yeah. Always oh, poop. I, I, I want an overall theme of this episode to be like 2024, what I'm doing better, because you suck at talking. Okay. So I'm just going to talk about what I'm doing better. Okay. Thanks for the support and confidence. I'm, I'm being honest with you. That's, uh, that's how you get better. You know what? I'll be better in 2024 as well. Well, no, probably not. Well, I'll start right now. So this is what I've been doing every day. I've been cleaning my house every single day. And a scent of my house, I've been making sure, because sometimes my house smells like science yeah. it smells like i've mowed a lawn inside it's rained <laughs> threw it in a in a in a in a glass and yeah just watch what happens so i've been i've been cleaning my house a lot more I, that's what I, that's what i've been doing in 2020 i actually don't i don't believe that I of don't course you don't. i don't believe you do it every day oh my god to hell with every day when you clean or whatever something he does this isn't even really cleaning but something that you have that could be a cleaning material okay it concerns the hell out of me what my Tide Pods? In, oh, no, no, no. Your Tide Pods are fine. Pods of Tide, they're cool. Don't eat them. However, this man, you have 
Lysol by your toilet. <laughs> not Febreze. Lysol. Are you aware those are not one and the same? Right now. Right. In every, to every, there's three cans of Lysol for your three toilets. And I, a small part of me wants to give you the benefit of the doubt. Like, oh, he's really trying to clean, keep it nice. I think that you think you got Febreze and you grab the lice. Are you cleaning Petri dishes or are you spraying after poo? And it's, and it's bullshit because you know that it's Lysol. Why do you have Lysol and not Febreze, not Glade? It's on us. What? <laughs> what? He said, I, 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 the fact that you just said that, I just had an internal realization yeah. that that's not Fabrice, that's my heart <laughs> toilet. It's, not, it's nowhere near. It's like, how do you, no wonder I get a little high every time I get in my bathroom. Because <laughs> you're wiping <laughs> Petri dishes. Like, think about when you take a poop at my place. Okay, yeah. you immediately, oh, it's, mine. It's, it's mine, it's both oh. of ours. You immediately get hit with a little homemade Sunday ice cream or Bourbon mahogany teak wood. You're like, man, that smells good. You poop at your place. You're like, <laughs> you need a hazmat suit. You're like, <laughs> bio There's chemicals. Fumes. Yeah, I like, like raid. You can literally, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm. Bro, that's the sin of my house is okay. raid. <laughs> okay, this 2024 year of honesty. Did I'm, you know that was like <laughs> that's, that's so bad. bad. It was a mistake. It's a, it's a oddly, just because they're on the same aisle doesn't mean they do the same thing. It's just an oddly like similar bottle. It's so not though. Lysol is so yellow. Like it is a huge yellow can, and it's probably like four to five dollars a pop. But it was Limon. <laughs> Put some Limon on Put it. Put some Limon on it. That doesn't excuse your behavior. <laughs> that dude, it, it dawned on me. And I wasn't gonna say anything the other night because we were all. We were we were on a uh, on a good vibe. Yeah. Everyone was hanging out, and I said, "I'm not gonna crush." No his dreams. wonder. Every time I leave my bathroom, I have a slight cough. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> yeah, it's like that's Lysol. my like that's like my air freshener is Lysol. That's so bad. Hey, you got a clean ass bathroom. I'll give you that. You There's know, not a single bacteria <laughs> that can grow in there. No wonder I've been itchy all the time. I sprayed it on my bed. Oh my god, <laughs> you just sprayed it on your clothes. Because you thought it was Febreze. You've always Febreze your asshole. Oh, my God. His quick, his go-to, his tried and true method, he'll, he'll be like, mm. upper body, cologne, lower extremities. He literally grabs what should be Febreze, but clearly his life song goes. Oh, no, my last week in my new house has been insane. I, and it's been like a fever dream. Oh I, I don't know oh if it's because of life song. Oh, my God. What happened at your house two days ago? Oh, my God. Can we, we have to tell. I don't know if we legally can. Can we? Dude, okay, Peyton straight up witnessed crime outside of his house three days ago. Go f Hello! Are you Swallow! You're like, what are you doing? You're like a guppy. Are you even here? Like, I literally, I'm like, all right, we got this story. You need, and you're mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fucking bubble guppies over here. Like, is this a monologue? What the hell? Your itches, oh my God, your itches are so loud. Oh my God. Sp he's, he has this weird, at, you're, you're like not swallowing things now. And I don't know, okay, I don't know, but liquids, drinks, drinks, beverages, that shit, <laughs> that shit you did last night? We took shots last night. I swear to God, I take my shot. Ugh. I feed Ruby. I go and like zip the trash bag up. I turn around. And he's like, <laughs> like, what are you doing? Get off my pants. So wrinkled now. What are you doing? Swallow when you drink something. Why are you picking your nose? I'm bleeding. You're not bleeding. You are not bleeding. No, you're not. You're not. I can't help you. My life is bleeding. Yeah, because you're, you're fucking Wolverine over here. Edward scissor hands going into your thigh <laughs> to hell with your leg. Why aren't you swallowing when you drink things? I can't. What does that mean? What are you doing? There's jerky. It makes me scared. What? I can't swallow. I've had a thing. I can't. And the fact that you just called it out, I've noticed it in myself. It takes me so long to swallow. But why? I can't. What is I the, feel like what? I'm going to throw up. 
I feel like, what is your fingers right now? You just said, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Oh my God, are you gag? <laughs> Why can't you sweat? Your pa you are wearing panties. You're wearing panties, dog. I just saw sensitive skin. I saw that skin that where hair doesn't grow. That's what I saw. I saw that nice little, that nice little quadrant of meat where it's so soft. That's what, that sounded, <laughs> that sounded fucking crazy. I saw that nice quadrant of meat. That sounded absolutely insane. I can't swallow anymore. Why? There's like a thing in me. You literally turned off our TV. <laughs> you, you turned off our TV. I'm having a panic attack. <laughs> Relax! <laughs> You're sweating. You better, you better have undergarment on. Okay, you do. God damn. Stat, stop scratch, dude. You're gonna you're gonna draw blood. Stop scratching yourself. Clip. Let me see your fingernails. Clip your fingernails. They're not even terribly bad, but you have some long ass fingers. Oh my god. I, do you ever feel like you're in lava? In lava? No. You're, the fact that you're, dude, you're literally you're tiptoeing, you're scratching your head. My God, there's black sweat stains on your white shirt. There is black sweat stains on your white shirt. Oh my God. You just got up using one leg. The other one was stiff as a board. You went, bro. It should be a thing. What? What did you just say? It shouldn't been a thing. It shouldn't been a thing. There's a thing. Let me reclose. <laughs> I'm just you. I'm gonna give you as long as you need. Does, does anybody have flow? <laughs> I'm so dry. I can't. The second it turns cold here in Texas, Peyton just gets scaly. Back, bro, back to the swallowing. Why? There's been a thing I've noticed about myself recently. I think Dog, your shorts, bro. Don't look. You're gonna need a, a damn sensor bar. There's been a thing recently. There's been a thing recently where... Shoe's still on time. <laughs> My God. I'm tied for an hour. <laughs> There's been a thing where I can't swallow. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> like I've never, I've never known what that means. When I swallow, I get like gaggy. <laughs> gaggy, gaggy. Best word you could conjure. Gaggy. When you swallow. Choky. Choky. Dude, I'm, I am. I, I like am, it when you choky me. <laughs> I am on set. <laughs> I am on set with like a nervous meerkat. Like you, it, you are fantastic. You I felt my world co like collapsing. <laughs> Just about. You couldn't see. Visions getting dark. I almost put two fingers down my throat. If you would have gagged yourself on, on if you would have gagged yourself on the podcast, I swear to God, I would have walked home. Or you, you could have kept my car. You could have kept it. I would have walked back to my place. <gasps> oh, I feel like in 2024, a testicle will pop out. <laughs> I'm like a big ass baby though. That's what I'm saying. It's like you're wearing a black diaper, a, a hat that's hanging on by a thread. Oh my God, Snorty McPiggington. You're, you have a white shirt, but your sweat stains were black. Black. I have a question. Please. Oh, we can't tell that story by the way. Yeah, f to hell, I don't even want to talk about the story anymore. There's there's an ongoing investigation going outside my house. Yeah, that shit was, I, I now that you've crime. come up for air, that shit was insane. I witnessed crime. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. we probably shouldn't. Yeah, but no. holy hell, it was funny. Uh, Not, <coughs> if we could tell the story, it'd be... I think that's what happens when you don't swallow. What? You're sitting there just triggering, triggering your little throat, just playing games with it. It thinks it needs to swallow, you're not letting it. Then ten minutes later, you get the backlash. Okay, you start honestly, burping, belching. Honestly, you're about to ask me some sick question. How much money? No. Would it take for you allow me? You have to look me in the eyes the whole time. None. No money. I know this hand motion. I know this hand motion. There's no way in hell for me to grab your throat. We're looking at each other. No. None. Zero. 
and you 21 Jump Street me. <laughs> you have to stick your tongue out. Ah, like a popsicle squad. I had to talk there. <laughs> From, until I get achieved greatness. I thought I achieved my goal. Absolutely no amount in this world. Really? If you had a million cash, I'd do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's less than that. I'd do it right now. you do $100,000 cash. No. Yes, you would. You said something <laughs> crazy yesterday. What was it yesterday that you said? <laughs> what was it yesterday in the parking garage that you said you would do for $100,000? I don't remember. It was something crazy. Oh, you would let a. <laughs> That's all I gotta do is take a shower. I got a hundred grand. You would let him. You would let for a thousand. You can't talk about this. Yeah, we can't. We can't. That's that's like ultimate. If you if you needed to do this for a hundred grand on me, I'd say no. Push it to two fifty. We're talking. Give me a quarter. <laughs> give me a quarter. Give me a Q. give me an old Quentin Miller. Okay. All right. Give me a QM. I think it. Uh, it's 2024, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people out there that are trying to turn a new leaf with their love life. Ooh, they need help. Let's start 2024 off with the best luck. Though, 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 but. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it to 2025. You said let's start off 2024. What are you doing? There's so much hair. Your legs. Bro, you're gonna have to do the censored bar, and your legs are so white and hairy. <laughs> oh my god, the knock knee, the untied shoe, the wet back of the knee. Please, please do something for me. No. <laughs> Feel my butt crack. I'm not feeling your butt crack. You'd literally have to pay me right now. I swear to god. No. How much? No. It's so wet. I'm not feeling your okay. butt crack. <laughs> Dude, you're choking, gagging, like, cover up. Okay. Your mom is watching. <laughs> she knows. She made you. <laughs> she made this. Anyway, uh, not the best like a doctor. The love doctor the in the love world. love do doctor in the world. <laughs> Dr. P. Dr. P. Dr. P. Dr. P. Dr. P. Dr. P. All right. Secretary Cam. Yes, so we don't have anything going on. Yeah, all right. Me and my boyfriend of one and a half years. Shake that money maker like somebody's about to pay you. Don't worry about the name. <laughs> you sat on a nut. You sat on a nut. You popped a ball. I only got one now. Okay. Me and my boyfriend of a year and a half are long distance. We only get to see each other He's every, cheating. Every, five, every five months. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> they only get to see each other every five months. Usually when I come to see him or he comes to see me, we hang out and we are good and we are good with just each other's company. Yep. But recently, since I came to see him for Christmas, when we aren't doing anything specifically, he's on his PC talking to his online friends. I try to tell him like, hey, I'm here. I don't see you very often. And he seems like he just doesn't get it. Please, Dr. P, I'd love some insight and advice from you. Let me tell you something. How old are they? Doesn't say, but her name is Toxic Girl. Oh, well, she's not the one being toxic. I'm not going to lie. Somebody's cheating. Let me put that out there. Is it Somebody's some or both? Her name is Toxic Queen, so I'm getting that she would toxic cheat. Girl. She's flirting at least with somebody else. I don't want to put that on your jacket, but you got to wear that letterman. You know what I mean? You have to. You, that's a patch on your letterman now. You got a varsity jacket. You might. Now, but your boyfriend, on the other hand, he's first team all offense. Oh, yeah. He's an all-star. first team all district. I'm telling you, he's... He's on the all, all region team. talent. Oh god, he made the list. He's uh, he's cheating on you when you're away for five months. He's a young man with urges. He's five months. You're five months away from each other, or something like that. When he's around you, he wants to play games. Doesn't like talking to you. I want damn to say, that hurts. I'm sorry, it's Doctor P. It's not Peyton. It's Doctor P. He's cheating on you. Let me tell you something right that now. Hurts. So all the, we have a lot of people in that age range that are 18 to 24, right? Young. Very young. You're the beginning of your life. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Don't waste it getting cheated on in a, for somebody that's in a foreign land. Especially all you. You're, a lot of y'all are graduating high school this year. Let me tell you something. You got that high school girlfriend. You got that high school boyfriend. Y'all are going to go to different colleges. But I love them. No, you don't. We talked about getting married. I'm going to let you know right now. Spend one month in college. Hey, one college party. Somebody else is kissing your lover. I hate to break it to you. Hurts. Oh, oh, don't let them be an athlete either. Oh. oh my god, if one of you is an athlete, 
Oh, Good it's luck. game over. Sayonara. Say Arriva Dirty. Hey, and I promise you, you spend a year, not even, you spend a semester away from them, you're not gonna think about your high school love. I tell you that much right now. I'll tell you that. Hey, you'll be like, oh, I forgot that that happened. I don't um, so yeah, middle name. you're young. You might have love for, you can love this person, have love for this person. Cool. They're, 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 they've spent nights at that sorority house. I'll let you know. They've gone to that frat party. They've gone to that, that function. Keep going. They've they they, 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 they've enjoyed, they've enjoyed a dessert with somebody Amen. else. Amen. Keep going. They've split that Sunday fudge. Oh God, else. keep going. They've he's opened up somebody else's console. Amen. Keep going. Let's see how many you can rattle off. That's it. Okay. Well, that's I feel like I've hammered home the town. That... I hammer I hammered home the. Does I... someone have like insulin? <laughs> like you're having like you need bro. You need medicine. I've hammered you need ho Western <laughs> medicine. I've hammered home the. <laughs> I've hammered home the point. You're getting cheated on. <laughs> they don't care that much. If you're spending like half a year away from somebody and they come back and get on the game, something that they were doing. Bro. bro. Yeah, Man. bro. Man. All right. Final closing remarks to Toxic Girl. Uh, toxic Girl, best way to get over somebody. Get under someone else. Talk to you. Hello. Uh, no, nah, just spend time with yourself. Be young. Enjoy your life. You're If you're... Hey, you're not in your life doesn't start for you like l real life like you're an adult 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 where you got to get out of your ways until you're like 30 something you're young enjoy if, if they are 30 and you're doing you're a long distance relationship <laughs> they might have kids <laughs> with somebody else at this point yeah. Literally um, second thing. they're they're taking their their son that you don't know about to their first soccer game he's putting on buddy's cleats and shin guards saying love you champ you're at home Waiting for a response. Cry. Tears. Watch. Enjoy your life. Watching Do your thing. Movies. That's tough. Do your thing. Hey, That's come tough, to a You Should Know podcast live show. You'll meet somebody. There you go. That is tough, but it's a tough truth from the one and only. Dr. P. Dr. P. Dr. P. Oh, man, oh, man, 2024. Wow. Peyton still stinks. I still suck at telling you how my week went. <laughs> but together, we're bestest friends with you. You right there. Point at him, P. Who is it? You. You. And you. But Tell we absolutely love you 2024. 2024. There's a million different things going to happen. But the first two things, February 17th, Tampa, Florida. Austin first. Oh, oh, uh, March 1st, Austin, Austin Texas. Texas. Austin first. We got birthday show for Uncle P, and we got the homecoming show for Uncle P. You're not going to want to miss either one of these two special dates because they are loaded and packed with fun and family and friends and hopefully you. Like we said earlier, like he said, not me, in the intro. Whole bottom section, Tampa, don't even think about it. It's already gone. But there's still a beautiful great view top section that still has tickets available like right you might it. you might want to act fast yeah. might want to act fast tickets are flying going out of there austin koala club you'll be the first to know pre-sale whenever austin tickets are live and then about a week later everyone else will know so it'll come soon as soon as we have it y'all will have it but we absolutely love y'all this week's code you i want you to take a random guess without me saying anything Somebody. are you frozen <laughs> like did you get stunned I was say I was gonna yeah, think something about it. I was gonna I was gonna say that the secret code is something about being taxidermied. So what do you want it to be? Matter of fact, the first secret code of the new year, Uncle P gets to drop the gym on y'all. TTC. TTC. Taxidermy that cat. <laughs> taxidermy that cat. Meow. That was seductive. Anyway, <laughs> taxidermy that cat. TTC. Leave it in the comments, TikTok, Instagrams, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Get your good karma. Confuse the casuals. I'm going to give y'all a CTA, right? A call to action for those that are not in the business, right? 2024, as a family, you should know. we're The podcast is elevating. There's going to be a lot of people, and there is a lot of people trying to deter you from enjoying this podcast. If you like it, be proud of liking this podcast. We have, we're have we just two friends trying to make everybody laugh. We're making each other laugh. We're having a great time, and we're not going to change that ever so be proud to be here and we are all on a common goal we all have our helmets on we all have our shoulder pads on and we have a walkie talkie and we're all 
and we're all going to push together as a you should know family to get 1 million subscribers 1 million family members we're going to do something really crazy for that we have the 100th episode special coming up in 2024 that's going to be special uh we have a lot of cool things planned for you guys. Thank you so much for all those rocking with us, defending us against the mean people. Uh, against the mean bastards. We love you. Thank you so much for rocking with us in 2023. Let's all grow and elevate together as a family. We're not alone. We're all one. All right. We love you. And remember, bro, are you like a general? Like, I feel like I'm I could like, go. I'm big. My I feel soldiers like I have a to battle. Spear in my arm right now. And I could go to <laughs> go to war. Taking the soldiers to battle. The best family in the world. We love you. Remember, one out of ten koala bears don't make it home to Christmas. And that was a fantastic Hello? shoe flip to start 2024. Hello. And we'll see you. Nope. Next time. <laughs> you can't leave that.